Anyhow, I'm about drunk. What's the last car you sold? Uh, let's see. It, oh, it was, uh, uh, what the hell? Uh, I know the one, I got a picture in my mind, but it only had 50 something thousand on it. A real big car. Uh, and it had a, it had a V8 engine in it. And only a rear wheel drive, didn't even have front wheel drive. Uh, I've got, uh, I'm getting worse as I grow older. Things I can't think of won't come to me. Uh, Do you still buy and sell cars or not so nah, much? I can't find one lately. Yeah. But I got, I got, if, if I buy one, I make good money on it, at least a thousand. But I, I gave, uh, I believe it was eighteen hundred for this car. And I got four thousand for him, and I, I had it for about a year. I really liked him. I liked the power of him. Yeah. It wasn't a. It wasn't a Ford. Chevy. <laughs> I think it was a Chrysler product. A Chrysler. Honey, I can't think of the name of it. But uh, this older lady, she bought it for a daughter. I told her that it didn't have front wheel drive. <clears throat> and she said, well, that's okay that she was just going to use it around in town. Yeah. So they were tickled just to get it. Boy, it was it was clean as a pen too. A lot of people don't know or don't care if it's front wheel or rear wheel or all wheel. Well, that Cadillac at least has got is a is a rear wheel drive, and I, I don't I never I've never bought more than a half a dozen Cadillacs all my life, and I just assume that it had rear had front wheel drive, but it doesn't. Right. Yeah. And it's a Cadillac. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, she got stuck coming up this, she made the hill all the way up to this little grade right down here in the next block. And that, that night, there was two or three guys came along and, and I walked down there. She walked back up here and told me that she was stuck. And I got back down there, there was two guys there willing to help us, you know. Yeah. And he noticed right off the bat that um, when I was uh, revving it up, you know, that that the uh, front wheels weren't moving. Right. And he said, you got a rear wheel drive here. And that's the first time I knew it. Of course, I told Lisa from then on, kind of get up get up a little speed when she got to that, that grade there, but. Yeah. Well, you're not going to sell and it's, your... It's only, it's only got... 93 Buick... 93 Chevy Lumina. Chevy, you're not going to sell got, It's only got about 80,000. It's 205. That's low for a Cadillac. Yeah. And she hates to get rid of it. She likes it so well. But uh, if I happen to run into a older car, it had a uh, four-wheel drive, I'd probably sell that Cadillac. But you're not going to sell the Lumina, right? Oh, no. No. In fact, I don't want to take 7000 for it. Yeah. You just drive it. That'll be your car. Yeah. yeah. I drove it the last time I was up on the hill. Yeah. I drove it to, uh, to make sure that this guy fixed it right, you know. Right. Actually, all he had to do was fix the oil leak. Right. And, uh, no, it's in perfect shape. The... One of the best, uh, well, one of the few best ways to tell condition of a car is some of the accessories. The power windows will go up and down just like a new car. Right. And they, sometimes you get a car and some people play around with windows. 
and they wear them out. And the windshield washers, they work like new. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's real straight. Yeah. But that, uh, that uh, leak there, I've had uh, two or three others that had a, a real low mileage. They're old, but anything could dry out on them. And that's what happened, a gasket. Right. Right. Dried it out on it in order to make it leak. You want us to leave you this pizza? No, you go ahead and eat. Are you sure? Eat, eat the rest of that. Okay. Okay. No, that, that one piece filled me up. Okay. I'll have it tomorrow. Take <laughs> it, take it on home. I, I got plenty of food in there. Okay. We're good.